Well, welcome everyone to another video presentation. Tom here with a painting from Northern Utah, the Bear River Valley, where I grew up. I was at the back of my parents' property looking south and saw this beautiful scene of the sun trying to break through the storm that had just laid down a very beautiful fresh blanket of snow. I hope that you enjoy the video and that you're able to learn some good things from it and apply it in your own work as a watercolorist. Otherwise, if you're not a watercolorist, just sit back and enjoy. So I'm taking the application of colors in the sky one layer at a time, being careful not to overstate my colors and values and tones and just trying to get it to the right point. It's better to approach this um, in a more careful manner rather than just diving in with good strong darks and finding yourself getting into trouble with too much contrast. So that's why you're seeing this approach going the way it is.
Okay, that does it for this video presentation. I hope you've learned some good things and I hope you've uh, uh, gained some insight as to how an artist can include opaque and transparent watercolor within the same piece. It's a lot of fun to do. I enjoy the opacity of, of opaque watercolors and what they add to a traditional transparent watercolor. I think they add a dimension of depth and richness that it would otherwise lack. All right. Thanks for listening. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.